My question this morning is, do you know that you can move every mountain before you? Do you know that you, you can move every mountain before you? Mountain things can be moved so quickly if you would speak words of faith. You, you don't look at circumstances and just let them be. Whatever that you're facing, you can address it by faith. Speak to that disease. Cause it to die. Command it to leave your body. Oh, come on, sons of God. You have faith in your spirit. And the faith of God in your spirit has been given to you to speak words that will come to pass. You see, what will come to pass is the words that you say. That's what will come to pass. So if the words that you say address your circumstance, then that's the end of your circumstance. The problem is not the problem. The problem is what you're saying. The miracle is not the miracle. The miracle is the words of your mouth. The, the content of your mouth. Be, be, you see, be, because the context here is that you shall have whatsoever you say. Okay, I'm going to read that again to you. Do you believe in the word of the Lord? To believe the word of God. This is the words of Jesus. I mean, he says, if you have faith, like as small as a grain of a mustard seed, I mean, as little as a mustard seed, you shall say to this mountain, mountain be moved. So we are mountain movers. Somebody say, I am, I am a mountain mover. mover. Shout amen to that, sons of God. You know, most of the times we often want to give up because uh, the words that we had said earlier on had not come to pass. You see, when you speak, know that it will come to pass. Do you know why? Because you have spoken by faith. In fact, one of the most effective ways to speak words is to say it is written. It is written. Jesus says it. That if I speak to this mountain and do not doubt in my heart that this mountain will move. It will move. We're not people who complain. We're speakers. Listen, we, we are, hear me, we are talkers. We speak to mountains. You see, 70% of, of the times, mountains are created by your words. See that? Those casual words that come out of your mouth create your mountains. Jesus says every man will give account of every word that proceeds from his or her mouth. Every word that comes from your mouth has been sent in, into your future. Words create mountains. Words move mountains. So you must be a careful speaker.
I don't speak my emotions. I'll say that again. I don't speak my pain. I speak the opposite of my pain. I love to use this instance. When Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, he spoke a word. He said, this sickness is not unto death. Hallelujah. That was the word of Jesus. You see, Lazarus was a dear friend of Jesus, a very close friend of Jesus. But he got sick. And some folks would have said, Oh, Pastor John, why would somebody that is their friend to Jesus get sick? Of course. And Jesus said, It is not unto death. When, when you are confronted by any circumstance, what do you say? Your very first words, toward any circumstance, would either create that mountain or move the mountain. When you hear that there's a disease in your body, what do you say? Doctor's report is not the final say. I'll say that again. Doctor's report is not the final saying of God. Doctor's report is a mountain before you. But the words from your mouth can move the doctor's report. Yeah. Praise the Lord. We are not at the mercy of any circumstance. The Bible says that the latter of a thing, the end of a thing is better than the beginning. Is that correct? It means that when you say something concerning anything, you have said the end of it. I have seen folks who were diagnosed with a chronic disease and they ended up with that disease. They died with the disease. But I've also seen folks who were diagnosed with a chronic disease at the end of it, they came out in good health. What, what transpired between both? One had the same disease that the other had. The first one died of it at the end of it. And the other one came out of it at the end of it. The difference was just that the other said something different from the other one. It's just that the, the other said, this sickness is not unto death. Can I hear amen to that? You can create the end of any circumstance in the genesis of it. Genesis is the time of beginnings. In Genesis, you can determine revelation. 
You can say a word that goes straight to create the end of that circumstance. Thank you for watching this broadcast. We trust that you've been blessed by the man of God's teaching. To get the full message, call us on plus 2721-510-4029 or email us info at spiritrevelationchurch.org. Pastor John at spiritrevelationchurch.org or visit our bookshop at 416 Vortrecker Road, Maitland, Cape Town, South Africa. Follow Pastor John Anna CK on Facebook and YouTube for news feeds and updates. Immortality, death, impossible. Divine health, sickness, impossible. Divine protection, destruction, impossible. Divine provision, poverty, impossible. Divine direction, mistakes, impossible. It's time to live and not die. Thank you and God bless you.